My presentation is about enhancing first year students' engagement with feedback, exploring the use of the essay feedback checklist. Um, I will start explaining the main reasons, the main objectives of this research, of this action research actually. Um, my main concern was to help first year students came to Kiel to be more confident in terms of increasing and enhancing their engagement in feedback by using a two communication tool uh, called the essay feedback checklist. So I would like to help students, um, management students, uh, to be more aware of the assessment criteria that we used in marking their essays, as well as I aimed, or the research was aimed, to help um, tutors to establish environment that encourages the students to engage in their feedback, and also to think about our teaching style based on this. So, um, uh, broadly, the main objective of this research is to open a dialogue about assessment and feedback at Kiel Management School and at Kiel University. And um, to be honest, one of, the, of my concerns is, is to develop my teaching practices as a teacher. I want to engage my students to what I am doing. I want them to understand the assessment criteria. I want them to be more involved in assessment and feedback um, than, uh, than before. And to develop their confidence, to be more confident about what they do and to develop their learning as well. Um, the research, it, uh, it, um, I mean, that's, it's quite long research. Um, stage one started with design the essay fit, uh, feedback checklist to his tutors. Um, I had um, or I um, did some uh, um, interviews um, with uh, colleagues at Kiel Management School talking about assessment and feedback and um, and to try to explore and, and find out their perspectives toward assessment and feedback. Here are some of the, um, the discussions we had about assessment and feedback. Some of my colleagues, they said that this is a, a good idea to think about confidence, level of confidence for first year management students. Um, and um, 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 they said something about okay, we using these uh, types of uh, of forms in, uh, to control students, to institutionalize students rather than um, improving their learning. So I think this give us um, some ideas about how other colleagues thinking about assessment and feedback. Um, I had some other ideas regarding assessment is problematic and it controls students and maybe using this sort of um, tools could, you know, uh, give a chance to students to questioning our academic judgment. So we should to be very careful about that. So some some colleagues that they have concerns about um, how how can we use the EFC or if it is a problematic um, um, to give or or if it will give uh, um, um, colleagues or sorry students a chance to to questioning our our judgment. Um, and um, another another concern is came from the interviews with colleagues about do we provide students critical lecture critical material so we start to you know to think about our style our material if we ask any students to be critical in their writing so we started to think about do we provide them any 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 critical lecture do we help them to improve and develop their critical writing style so 
it's good to have these ideas, the thinking about, about um, uh, assessment and, and feedback in care management school. Um, within these interviews, we had me and colleagues, we um, developed the SA feedback a checklist. And briefly, this is checklist uh, developed by um, uh, Norton and um, it, it is mainly to um, ask students to rate how they are confident um, in uh, addressing each of the assessment criteria. So students after finishing writing their assignments, um, they rate their, uh, or we can say they self-evaluate um, their work in terms of confidence, if they are confident or partially confident or not at all confident in each of these criteria. Uh, and then tutors provide the feedback underneath in each of these criteria if there is a mismatch between um, a students' evaluation to their work and tutors' evaluation uh, to the same uh, to the same way. So it is like uh, we building up a, a small dialogue, a little dialogue between students and and uh, and tutors about about feedback. We designed the EFC. And um, the first step, I asked students, uh, first year management students, to write down in a piece of paper about their expectations about feedback. What do they expect from the feedback um, um, on their essays? And they came with many ideas. Um, here are some of the ideas that um, feedback could help us to uh, develop our learning. It is important to have a feedback to develop our writing in the future or to improve our style. And we need to know what is good and what is bad and how to develop it in the future. So it's mainly about um, uh, concerns and perspectives of students about feedback on, on, their, on their work. Um, we, I asked students to use the AFC, um, and we have around we have forty students accepted uh, to share and to use the AFC. Um, and in this table, you may find some figures um, uh, to explain uh, the mismatch between students and tutors in terms of evaluating uh, the work. For example, in referencing, we have 54% uh, of students, uh, they said that they are um, uh, totally confident about referencing, where tutors, when they evaluate the same work, 20% confidence. So you can find the difference between 54 for self-evaluation from students and 20% um, uh, from tutors um, to, um, uh, to evaluate students' work. Um, so, um, for understanding, for example, we have 26% of students, they said that they are um, completely confident about their understanding, where tutors evaluate uh, the same criteria uh, by 9%. By 9 so, um, the conclusion uh, from the using of the SA feedback uh, um, checklist indicates that there is a, a mismatch. Uh, between what students uh, expecting and evaluating uh, for their work and what tu tutors do uh, in evaluating the students' the students' uh, the students' work. Um, stage four um, was a questionnaire. We give a questionnaire for students. Uh, already uh, take part in this project and we asked them um, about their feedback um, uh, uh, of the use of the ESA feedback checklist um, and um, some figures here uh, came out for example um, um, 76 yeah, seventy-six percent of students they said that they using uh, using the EFC gives them very clear instructions about what we we you are expected to do. Um, um, Sixty-three percent said that I would learn more if I received more feedback. 
70 uh, percent they said I don't understand some of the feedback so we have 70 percent they don't understand the feedback so we have a problem here in the language we used in giving a feedback it, it's not under it's not that much understandable uh, from students so I think we should to check our style in writing the feedback um, um, 83, for example, they said, I read the feedback carefully and try and understand what the EFC uh, is saying. Um, and 100% of students, they disagree with the statements. I tend to only read the marks. They 100% they disagree. So all the students used in this research, they said that no, we do um, read the feedback. We not only read the mark, we do the feedback. So students, they are aware, they are uh, interested to read the tutor's feedback and I think this is opposite to some arguments from tutors that students doesn't they don't care they don't care about feedback they don't take their feedback and uh, or our feedback in their consideration uh, to go deeper for and uh, or to get deeper insights about about students, uh, from students, about the use of the EFC. Um, we had a focus group. Uh, we asked students if they want to take part and they signed the consent form. And um, um, we tried to, you know, take more inform information from students about the useful, uh, the usefulness of using the EFC. For example, uh, some students, they had they said that it is um, a, a good tool in revision. Uh, some students, they, it, uh, the, the EFC gives uh, constructive feedback and it is well balanced in giving feedback on strengths and weaknesses. Um, and some students, they said it isn't helpful at all. They don't like it. They have still some concerns about uh, critical arguments, for example. So here in the green um, uh, slide or in the green part, it isn't helpful at all. I'm still wondering how critical arguments look like. I honestly thought I did it in the essay. So sad. Some students, they don't like the trial. Um, some students, they said that the, uh, the, the tool gave an idea to the marking criteria and what was expected. Also, it is useful to help them in writing the essay as a checklist. So they said that it is a useful, it is a useful reflecting tool. Most students said, uh, or most students taking part in this research said that it is a useful uh, tool, but some students they said that they don't like um, uh, the, the tool. Uh, some more quotes here from students uh, in the in the focus group about about the the AFC and how they they use it. Um, and um, at the end, you can see in the red. Um, uh, lions, the students said, I liked the well done comment at the end of the AFC, which encouraging and motivating me to do better uh, next time. And I think this, uh, this is, uh, this gave us um, some insights from, uh, from students about motivating feedback, use feedback, not just to spot the wrong things, to encourage and motivate the students to do more better things. We normally write about uh, errors, about um, um, weaknesses, but we don't give a feedback about strengths. So I think this comment could help tutors to think about how can they use feedback to encourage and motivate students and to enhance their, their work in the future. A stage six was the final logical stage about uh, interviews with tutors about using or after using the AFC. I take all the information get from students 
uh, all the information from focus group, from the questionnaire, and go to my colleagues to have a discussion about it. Okay, I did this research, what do you think? Uh, the interviews was useful in terms of still, uh, um, in terms of continuing the, the dialogue, the conversation about ass uh, assessment and feedback. Uh, some colleagues they came um, um, with ideas like feedback is different in some disciplines like accounting and finance, which is quantitative uh, myth uh, modules. So we cannot use um, these. Um, a tool um, um, easily um, and um, some colleagues they argued that okay um, it is interesting but it means more work load um, which is sometimes we should be careful about that and um, um, other colleagues they argued that it takes ages to finish and give comments for each criteria so I need uh, 50 hours looking at computers and um, um, some other students, or one of my students, um, one of my colleagues said, I used essays in my module, um, and students were aware with the general criteria before uh, submitting their assignments, and they didn't spend more time to explain what these, or I didn't spend more time to explain what these criteria um, mean. And uh, another um, or the last um, quotes from a colleague said, I want to say that students don't normally use our feedback, which is very different from what, what students said before, that students, uh, we are aware, we are very interested to know more about feedback. Um, the research, um, this action research was a part of my master in teaching and learning in higher education at Keele University um, and um, um, the work um, and this research contributed uh, for uh, a project um, entitled Assessment for Learning. We had a, a grant from the Higher Education Academy uh, to support the idea of uh, um, transforming assessment and feedback at Kiel. Um, um, the output of the research also um, turned it to full paper um, ready to submit um, um, in, in um, um, innovations in education and teaching international and um, to develop the idea of engaging students and to develop idea of enhancing uh, first year management students confidence uh, um, I developed the, um, the the tool the L, uh, the EFC to be alive to, to be online tool uh, via um, um, Google uh, uh, forms and um, there is a paper published in a journal of academic development and education in January uh, 2014 about about this and um, um, generally um, the live tool the live essay feedback checklist is just to, to turn the conversation the dialogue to be online um, and I think this um, um, uh, we have a pilot study about that and we still continue doing uh, more research to explore the difference between the paper copy and the online copy. But the main objective, again, is to encourage students to be more engaged, encourage students to have a voice, supporting the idea that students is our partners and we should respect them, we should to respect their voice and we should to encourage them not just to give comments for the bad um, and weaknesses things in their work but to support their strengths points and to support and to develop their level of confidence. Thank you.